Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another van build episode. So today we are going to take you along for our completion of the subfloor, our furring strips, finishing insulation, finishing our actual flooring, which we're sitting on right now and we're obsessed with. And a yeah. bunch of other stuff. And a bunch of other stuff. It's, so it's there's a, a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. It's taken over a month, I think, since our last video. Yeah, for real. The reason why this has been taking so long is because building a van is a very long and hard process to do, especially if we're just doing it on the weekends because we have jobs and shit. And shit, and oh shit. God. First things first was our completion of the subfloor. And installing our side ladder. So everyone, welcome. Today we have a fun day. We're gonna be installing our side ladder and we're gonna be cleaning up the subfloor, going over a water seal, actually nailing it down so it doesn't move anymore and starting to test out some of our layout ideas. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, so as you can see, we removed the subfloor from the van and now I am going to paint both sides of the subfloor with this Thompson's water seal to make sure that no moisture or water gets into the flooring. So it's been a few hours and we have successfully painted both sides of our subfloor. So we are now going to install it into the van. And let me just show you the ladder real quick. It looks awesome. Woo! We're putting the subfloor back in and we're gonna screw the subfloor all together. So it don't move no more. We're gonna be using two separate screws for this. Uh, we have this, which is inch and a half self-tapping, and then this one's an inch and a quarter. Some of the frame strips are longer than the others, so for the ones that are, we know are shorter, we'll use inch and a quarter. The ones that are longer, inch and a half. If you're curious on how to install the side ladder, we actually made a separate video and you can click somewhere above and it'll also be linked below. After we finished the subfloor and the side ladder, the next weekend we started working on our furring strips. And man, they take a long time. Many days. Many, many <laughs> days, yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. We successfully got the subfloor in painted, water sealed, screwed into the furring strip, so we're good there. Really stoked on yesterday's progress. Today, we're just going to try and get our furring strips onto the side walls. So for the furring strips for the walls, we are going to be putting on these one by three by eights that I got at Home Depot today. And we're gonna be using some self-tapping metal screws to seal them in. If you guys don't know what furring strips are, they're basically support beams. We're gonna be putting them onto the wall so when we're screwing our wall and our ceiling together, it's going to be drilled into the actual furring strips rather than the actual van itself, just for extra support. Also, another thing to note about our furring strips, when you're putting the furring strips on the walls, you wanna leave about a one inch gap between the furring strip and your subfloor because you're gonna need that extra inch for when you put your real flooring down. It's gonna be fine. We got that on film. Did we? Awesome. First one done. It is one o'clock on Sunday. It is like really hot outside and we have a lot more work to do to get the rest of them done. So we're actually gonna wait to do them in the mornings this week when it's a little bit colder and just enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So next time you see us, we're gonna be installing the furniture chips in three, two. Oh, good morning. It is a couple days later, it's 8 a.m. and we're gonna try and install the rest of the furniture strips today. We luckily have, I think, five more of these places where there's a perfect beam, so it's just very easy. It's more about these sections right here, where there's a rib that's very thin, so I don't know if it would hold into it. And then there's, it doesn't line up with the bottom, so that's the part that's gonna get a little tricky. But we're just gonna focus on the stuff that's gonna be pretty easy for right now. We already pre-wrote down where we're gonna have our countersinks, as my dad has a drill press, so we're just gonna do the countersinks all before we actually bring it into the van to speed things up.
So we got three more furring strips in this morning. Unfortunately, we can't do any more because we have to go to work. So we're gonna finish the rest on Saturday in three, two. Good morning, happy Saturday, everyone. We're gonna finish the rest of the furring strips today. All right, so we've done all the easy ones and now the tricky ones come in. Like, yeah. It's almost there just to hold it in place. Cool. Looks good to me. Awesome. Two more to do. Kelly's here, and we actually have a call with Ori from Summit of Freedom about electrical, because I don't know too much about it, so he's gonna give us some advice. Yay! Batteries. Okay. We're, gonna, we're looking to get three of them, three lithium yeah. batteries at the 100. I'm super excited. We got all of our furring strips on the wall. Kelly's gonna be here to talk about what we're gonna be doing for the ceiling in three, two. Hello, welcome. Now we are going to talk about the ceiling. Okay, so we are using the same wood that we used for the walls, but we're gonna be putting it on the ceiling. And as you can see, the ribs on the ceiling are all the same height, it's 53 inches. So we can cut them down to the exact same length and we should be good to go. I can just do the rest of them. Right. So what are we doing here? So there are quite a bit, quite a few holes already in the ceiling. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the wood that I just cut up to it and marking where I'm gonna actually be able to drill the screws into. Because you can't, you can't drill it into holes. It's not gonna stick. Okay, so the furring strips have taken pretty much all day. We still have about three more furring strips on the ceiling to go, so we will do that in the morning. So see you then, bye. We're back and we're finally finishing our furring strips, yay. So here's Kelly's outfit right now. She's totally ready for van work. All right, Kelly, we're gonna get this one up. So we have successfully finished all the furring strips. So excited, this literally has taken like two weeks just because it's more time consuming than you think. Consuming. It's more time consuming than you think. But we're gonna call, oh man, that was a close one, almost dropped it. But welcome to the next day. We are just gonna be doing some cleanup, some little fixing up, like just fix up the subfloor a little bit. It was kind of annoying me. Just that's what today is and we're mostly going to be figuring out our layout. We spent last night in an Airstream in Santa Barbara and had a really fun day. And when we were there, we did realize that a bathroom inside was absolutely necessary. We, can, we can't just be savage and just bring the toilet out into the middle, so now we have to rethink our layout. So we filmed a little bit of our trip in Santa Barbara, so I'm actually gonna show that right now. So the final part of this video is a mix of the insulation and our flooring. We, we're kind of doing them both at the same time, so we're gonna section them together. So, hello, we're back. And as we may have shown you yesterday, we were debating between a couple colors of flooring and we slept on it, didn't wanna make a decision. And then this morning we figured out we're not really too happy about the choices we have. So we went back and found the best color ever and we're ignoring everyone's opinions. <laughs> and we're just gonna do one that we found and we love it so much. It's right here and we're gonna install it today. We're so excited. Life proof laminate flooring. 100% life proof, 0% worries. Yes. Yas. Got our super shitty string job trying to hold up this insulation 
And then Phil came over and he was like, why don't you just staple gun the string to the ceiling? And we're like, not oh, a bad idea. Good idea. We're just gonna remove it all because at this point it's so bad. We need to start from scratch. One wall worked. Yeah, and why did this wall work? Because I did that one. Yeah, he kept saying that. <laughs> the weird thing about flooring for vans is I don't really see many people putting glue down to like make it stick. They just kind of close the edges off with some trim. So people have been using this underlayment underneath and we're actually gonna use this one because it's got a little bit of Reflectix in it. So we're gonna put the Reflectix down and it'll hopefully help repel some extra heat, extra insulation, can't hurt. Need to turn off that music because it's gonna mess up your recording. Mm -hmm. Want to explain what we just figured out? Yes. Yeah, so we found the center of the van and we did a line all the way down. We're gonna be working from the middle out. So we make sure our floors aren't crooked. Wow. My mom just came out of nowhere with cookies. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh welcome. my god. They match the flooring. All the plans that we made in summer, they are shining. So all around the wheel wells and like the sides of the van, no one's gonna see this flooring. We're just putting it on for extra protection. So we're just gonna get it as good as we can and make sure that the middle looks flawless. Wait, Dad, my camera was right behind you. Oh my God. Opening our last box. I really hope we have enough. Kelly, look, we got our floors done. so good. Unfortunately, it's a little dark, so um, we're actually gonna show you another video in the morning when it's bright. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's the next weekend. I feel like this episode has like five weekends involved, but yeah. things take a while when you're not able to work on it full time. I totally <laughs> with your shot while you were talking. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, but no, I think I was it was coming, I was walking back and forth. By. Oh! oh! I have a quick appointment, so we're just gonna cut to us after that right now. So we're back from the appointment. I got a haircut. I know you can't tell, but trust me, I did get a cut. So right now, while I was gone, Kelly and my dad got all the insulation on the ceiling. Just one Pretty more much. section right there. So we're doing really good with it. And we are going to spray paint that window right there black. Cause when we insulate it, cause we're gonna put walls up, people are just gonna look through and see wool, which is not that good. So we're gonna Windex it, which is why I have paper towels in my hand let it dry, and then insulate. It's time to spray paint. Standing back here because the beans are insane. If you told me I'd be spray painting the window today, I'd be like, ha! Never! Funny! We have spray painted the window. Now we are going to put the insulation on. It's the haircut for me. <laughs> I like how that it's took you like 10 seconds. the insulation for, for me. me. It's the droopity droop. For me. For me. So is there any more? Sam's no? fully sacrificing his body and his fingers and putting the liquid nails, nails on my glue on, on his, his nails. Fingers. On his nails. <laughs> And rubbing it with his fingers, not using a glove, I love it. Look how like just seamless that is. You can see the difference, how it's kind of, well, very floppy and, you know, not perfect over there. Now, one more test on the outside to see if you can see the insulation wool through the window if you were to peek through. But I have a good feeling about it. You cannot see a thing. I can't believe we just came up with this idea today because we were talking for weeks about how we should cover this window so that you can't see anything going through it, but it's fully insulated. So I'm like actually super stoked that we figured that out. Good morning. It's Sunday and we're going to be finishing up the floor and the insulation finally. And then this will be the last part of the video. Everything in this fan build takes a lot of time. 
and we need to be patient. So we are almost done with our floor. So we just gotta cut this exterior off to make sure that it's flush when we put our trim on. Screw it in. And then we can glue the sides. I think we'll be good. So what we're doing is we're trying to trim this bit of flooring off because it went past our subfloor. So when we put our trim down, it's not really gonna hold very well. So we're just trying to clean this up so it lines up perfectly. <laughs> That's it. Here. As you can see right here, we are very happy with our floors. It was an emotional journey. Follow us on our Instagram and you would have seen how much of a struggle this was. But I love it so much and now I feel like we can build the look of the van a little bit off of the flooring. And one thing that we want to mention is the flooring is the first thing we've done for the van build that makes it feel like a home. And we're, that's why it was such a cool step for us and why we felt like this was the perfect time for us to finish the video. Love it. Oh, and we finished Reflectix, thanks to Sam, who got up early the last few mornings and finished it. Ignore um, that one section right there. It'll be done. Don't yeah, worry. but it looks great. And now, hopefully, we will be toasty in the winter and cool in the summer. summer. Here, stay here, Oh! <laughs> He's a little excited to be here for that intro. <laughs> Right. Hi. Like Thank you guys for watching our video. We're Sam, Kelly, and, and Sunny. Oh. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>